who visit the glorious part of India are enchanted by the array of beautiful colored gemstones and exquisite jewelry piece volumes that are created here and still more around the world enjoy all the jewelry exported from here. And being a diamond woman myself, I find it really exciting to see the passion for diamonds that exists and is growing here. Jaipur is a city of royalty and it seems only right that it grows its importance as a location for what we consider to be amongst the most regal gemstones, the diamond. Of course, Jaipur, royalty and diamonds already have very strong links. The Maharani Gayatri Devi was a famous and now much missed daughter of this great city, as well as an icon in the diamond industry in India. Being the ambassador of the famous Arishya brand, she represented many of the finest attributes of Jaipur, refinement, style, and majesty, as well as many of the greatest attributes of diamonds, beauty, sparkle, and timeless elegance. Her passing earlier this year brought us all great sadness. I'd like to talk more about the future of Jaipur and the great opportunities that I believe are, the, are on the horizon for the pink city when it comes to diamonds. We stand on a cusp of hugely exciting times for the diamond industry, with new, vibrant markets starting to emerge, with India being a prime example of this as more and more Indians than ever are choosing to embellish their lives with these treasures of nature. The domestic market here in India for diamond jewelry has grown at a very impressive rate over the last few years and there are more and more opportunities emerging for exporting not only to the traditional powerhouse market in the US but also for markets around the Far East. There is also a very healthy skills base here in Jaipur from which to grow the diamond industry. Diamonds have a strong position already with some leading diamond companies in the area and existence of recognized and colored stones in jewelry pieces lead to a wider opportunities for the consumers. city suggests a natural fit with diamonds. When Maharaja Jay Singh II was planning the city, he looked to his love of mathematics and culture to inform the architecture planning. The legacy lives on today through the precision of the workmanship in Jaipur and the recognition of importance of maintaining an emotional and cultural resonance for every piece that is created. To me, Jaipur offers a perfect fit for diamond cutting and polishing, as faceting the correct angles to release the inner beauty of the diamond in the rough reflects the approach taken by Jay Singh to release the beauty of the city. I also believe that the increased focus on diamonds here can be a great opportunity for future economic growth for the city, for the region, and for India herself. There are many great industries, but I, it cannot be denied that the jewelry industry has proven to be a major Indian success story over the last couple of decades. When one looks at the potential for diamonds, there is certainly a chance to increase an already considerable contribution the gems and jewelry make to the economic success of India, and I would urge you to take that chance. We're starting a new decade next year, a decade which we believe is going to be very strong for diamonds, a decade in which we're seeing demand from emerging markets growing, a decade in which we believe the states will come out of the recession and will go back and rebound to purchase diamonds, a decade in which supply is declining, and in this environment of demand exceeding supply, we believe the diamond industry
industry is going to do exceptionally well. Throughout of all of this though, it is important for all of us to remember that the consumer is the most important person for us to consider and there are things we must be watchful in the diamond business but also more broadly in the precious stone and jewelry business. There have been several instances of various types of gemstones being artificially treated or synthesized and this not having been disclosed to the consumer. I must stress that it is vital that we all keep a keen eye on this type of activity occurring as it can have disastrous consequences for all of our businesses. Even isolated incidents can have the capacity of eroded consumer confidence, so we must stand united and make sure that consumers can keep their trust in the product we sell. With rare and valuable materials, it can be tempting to be unscrupulous and try and artificially enhance to make more money from the piece. You know as well as I that the stunning quality of natural beauty, and we all recognize that things in the natural shape have unique characteristics which define them and make them so special. We need to keep focus on releasing this beauty through our skills in polishing and wherever we other processes have been taken, we must make sure that it is completely clear and transparent to the consumer so they can make their choice in an informed manner. I mention this as a way of keeping us all focused, but I am sure that the great gem business in Jaipur are already well prepared. As I have mentioned, the fact that Jaipur was first fully planned as a city in India is reflected in the organization and achievements of the business here. But just as Jaipur wasn't built in one day, in fact records suggest it took some four years, neither should we try to run before we can walk. We are hopefully now exiting a period of extreme economic turbulence and I would suggest that we will be able, we will be well served by looking at sustainable growth and opportunities as we head into 2010. We must all be prepared to look at new markets, new product offering and new ways of working as we head into the new normal. But we need to take a responsible approach as how we do this and make sure that our entire industry works together to remain strong as the opportunities emerge on the demand side. Ladies and gentlemen, I have briefly talked today about the strength of Jaipur gem industry, the potential for the city growth in relation to diamonds, the importance of consumer confidence, and the need for sustainable, responsible approaches to our businesses. And we're heading towards an economic recovery. But I would like to leave you with one final thought, and that is the one of unity. The unity of our industry is key to our strength. Thanks again to all those who helped organize the Jaipur Jewelry Show, for it's only through coming together like this that we can ensure we become more than the sum of our parts. Let us all continue to meet at fantastic events such as this. Let us all learn from each other's successes and let us all pull in the same direction as we head into what will be an exciting new decade for GEM, for jewelry and for Jaipur. Thank you, have a great show. and everyone has noted very with a great interest that you find Jaipur a perfect place for diamond cutting and polishing center.